Hey, welcome back to uh, the latest episode of uh, This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, remember, like always, uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, check me out on social media. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, Google, uh, Untapped. Uh, tonight's episode features one out of uh, Bell's uh, Brewing out of Comstock, uh, Michigan. Uh, this is their Winter White L, a Belgian-inspired in- uh, wheat L. Uh, label, you got the Christmassy winter vibe going on there. Uh, nice uh, to sell beer this time of the year. Uh, Cap-wise, you got a, a snowflake on uh, top of the uh, bottle cap there. Uh, this here is um, says, uh, Bell's Winter White Ale is a bright alternative to dark and heavy winter seasonal beers. Uh, the stylish and refreshing wheat ale is fermented with a Belgian yeast, yielding a mix of clove and fruity aromas uh, without the use of any spices. An ideal beer for embracing winter. So uh, winter is um, it's cold as hell outside in Ohio right now. So as far as I'm concerned, cold weather, uh, winter is here. So... Uh, we'll go ahead and crack this thing open. It is, uh, what I write down, it's 5% alcohol by volume. Uh, not sure uh, what the IBU is on it. But we'll go ahead and, um, let's see, we'll go ahead and use uh, this glass here tonight. Uh, looking forward to this. Haven't had too many uh, winter beers yet this year, so... Definitely looking forward to this. Had a few different ones out of Bell's. Uh, fan of them for the most part. So we'll crack this thing open. Give it a pour. Uh, looks like typical wheat beer here. Nice white head up on top. Get that bottle there for you to see that. Uh, decent amount of carbonation going on in there. Uh, about a finger, finger and a half of a head on that. Um, a hazy, uh, yellowish color. Go, I guess not really yellow. A hazy um, wheat color. Typical wheat looking beer. A, a decent amount of carbonation in that though. Uh, large bubbles popping in the top of the head here. Smell-wise, um, a bit of a doughy. Am I picking up banana? Maybe a banana. Um, says no spice. I'm picking up kind of a spiciness to it. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, heads... Uh, Pretty much died out fairly quick there. Maybe down to a half a finger on that. Uh, still pretty white though. Typical wheat beer. Weedy. Maybe a hint of banana and doughiness to it on the aroma. Uh, taste wise. Uh, nice uh, wheat beer. Um, flavor. <sighs> Light bodied mouth bill. Kind of a carbonated uh, taste going on here. Carbonated mouth bill. <sighs> Says a uh, barley and wheat malt. Does taste, um, a little malty, maybe a little bit more malty than um, some wheat beers that I've had. Still picking up uh, some I can't place, uh, coriander or something along those lines. Not really. You get a bit of a, of a, a banana aroma coming off of it, but... I have no banana taste going on here. Just kind of a typical, I don't want to say generic, but a typical um, 
wheat beer taste, not real overpowering. Aftertaste wears off really fast. Light bodied, nothing spectacular, nothing to write home about. Um, I think on my scale here, uh, zero, I don't want to see this crap again. Six, I'd push an old person down to get the last one. This isn't much more than average to me, so I'm probably going to clock this in at, oh, about a 3.25 out of six. Um, if you've had it before, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about it. I know Bell's has some great offerings. Um, this here, I guess I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, 3.25 out of 6. If you've had it, let me know what you think. That's my thoughts. <laughs>